but this is why. No, I'm just kidding. But we're going to start it off like this. Baby, Prince. And in a little while, I will explain to you why I put on Prince. Because we are doing the prompt today, um, clouds. And the reason for clouds is why am I holding my little mic when I should be putting it right here <laughs> hi Sarah so again clouds and the whole reason for Prince is because my dear Prince influenced clouds because the day he died was the most purplest day ever okay the purple day where the world turned purple. And again, it's that day that he died, I watched over and over all of the interviews of him. And I just, it's Purple Prince, man. Again, let me try this again. Okay. <laughs> no, seriously. Prince, the day he died, I saw interviews about him. And uh, he was talking to Larry King. And he was talking about Kim Trails. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what Kim Trails is, well, we're going to get to that in a bit. But. I saw his thing and I said, oh, Prince must know what he's talking about. So I started doing all that's when my that's when my next conspiracy theory journey began. So I looked up Kim Trails and I started searching all the things. And next thing in before you freaking know it, I was obsessed. I was driving down everywhere and everything was brown and the, and I was like oh my god the next morning I woke up and I looked up in the sky and I said god damn Prince was right no lie there are motherfucking trails in the sky and not only that okay which that led to my next journey which was UFOs hidden in the clouds oh yeah I went there. <laughs> so, and that's the reason why I bring up the Purple Prince. Because of him, I started my conspiracy journey of looking at clouds and all the crazy stuff that these things do, you know? So, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about... Kim Trails, and we're going to talk about UFOs hidden in the clouds. And I uh, no, I'm not some nut job. I'm just lifeless. <laughs> you know, shoot. But yeah, do you guys do, do any of you guys know? Oh, no, wait, 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 hold up. Okay, check this out. So when I did discover Kim Trails, I asked the many people. Do you look up at the sky? Have you seen those trails? Now, can I ask any of you guys in here? Have you guys seen the Kim trails? Do you know what they are? Have you ever heard of them? Or do you believe that what they say? Now, there are two different things of them. There is the there is the the, the airplanes that leave, you know, of course the what is it called? Uh, condensed air or whatever. I forgot what it's called, but there's that. 
of course, the exhaust, they leave it behind because of the cold or whatever. When they shoot out those, you know, the white thing, the, the white trails that come out behind it, they evaporate. But a chemtrail does not evaporate. So the next time, well, I don't know if you really see them much now because there's more that goes with it because, ha-ha, chemtrails were real. Because Trump, Trump went on and he did a news thing where he was talking about chemtrails. He also went to go see the planes of these planes. These, okay, the planes that leave the chemtrails in the sky are unmarked planes. And you know what the creepy part? Here's the, here's the other conspiracy theory. This leads me to it. That led me to my next conspiracy theory, which was Google Maps. Okay. Now, I went to Google Maps and I started just zooming in to different parts. And I found uh, the yards of planes and the planes were unmarked. Now, the planes that do do the chemtrails are unmarked. They're white, nothing on it. And some of the junkyards even had the planes blurred out. And it's like, why? You know, why are they blurred out? Why would they do that? You know? And it's like, that started a whole other conspiracy theory with me. So... That's what we're going to talk about. And it gets really fucking crazy. So I'm going to go into the search the hashtag right now. And let's begin reading before anything. And we'll, talk, we'll keep talking about it in between. That's what we're going to do. Oops. So I hope y'all are having a good night tonight or whatever. You know, it's been the freaking holidays have been just uh, nothing really hit me until today. I'll be honest. Nothing really hit me until today. You know, so, yeah, kind of, I don't know. Stinks just a little. Let's see. Hashtag. Quiet, Terry. <laughs> Let's see, um, paradise, paradise, you know, I, you know, I can't do anything on this tablet, I don't even know why I bother even using this thing, it's so like, ugh, you know, saved, fuck it, I know I have them saved here, just this tablet doesn't give me my damn thing, okay, I'm gonna go all the way down, all the way down to your mama. Where's she gonna beat your ass? Don't even ask me why I just sang that. I don't even know. Okay. Because I'm retarded. So, let's see. I have right here. Is this? Nope. That's Sarah's. That's, God, that's Spirits. Okay, I have that one saved already. Um... What is this one? Nope. See, this thing just confuses me. I hate this old school tablet. Somebody get me a new one. Somebody just get me a new one. My goodness. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. Hey, guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's... Uh... I'm going to send this out real quick to some P.O.B.O.s and see if they'll come in because I have their pieces. And you guys could probably see me just staring at the screen like a dumbass, even though I'm looking for people. <laughs> well, I can't find it all, so done. Oh, I forgot. I'm on Paradise Poets. God damn it. I forgot. I'm not on Lifeless. That's why the group's not there. Ah, chingado. <laughs> hey, Sarah. <laughs> could you send uh, the live to? <laughs> could you send the live to uh, the Darkling Poets uh, Society chat? Because I can't get it. I forgot I was on uh, this one. Hey, hey, Ruby. <laughs> hey, uh, BH, what's it doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too funny. I forgot I was not on lifeless. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> too funny 
<laughs> let's get out the big dogs right here real quick. I'm just going to get, uh, I'm going to do poetic uh, mus muses first, musings first, because that's always um, a wet my whistle kind of one, you know. Drives me out by the time I'm done. I'm like, ooh, sound like the real Grinch. Merry Grinchmas. I hope you guys had a great Christmas, by the way. Can I shrink this? Why can't I see the whole thing? You know, this thing sucks ass. Okay. <laughs> okay, poetic muses. Um, okay. She used 13 prompts. Wow. Pretty good, pretty good. Hush, don't say a word. Don't open your mouth or you will find it shut with duct tape. Already good. Hush, don't say a word. Don't open your mouth or you will find it shut with duct tape. Just like your hands will be tied as well as your legs. Dang, she got deep up in this. I mean, she got... I like it. Anyways. Um, okay, I like that I can melt away your newfound courage. And I like the fear I put into your innocent eyes. Ooh. Fear that came from composed lies and betrayal. Ooh. You shouldn't have left me in a ditch to fend for myself. Ooh. <laughs> Against wolves and hy hyenas, you, you shouldn't have left me lying under a sky full of clouds. In my own blood, when you got what you wa wanted, because you see, karma is a bitch. Damn, right? And now I have you here and helpless. I do so hope with Christmas so close, Santa doesn't judge me to be naughty because then I might have to tie him up too. See that he could feel my rage. Oh, so that he could feel my rage if he takes away what's mine. Uh -uh. But let's look at you, all pale skin and ink black hair with eyes of a heartbreaking crushed blue. Trembling to see what I might do to the one who stole the halo of a snow angel from me and gave me the devil's horns. What I might do to the one who left me to be raw bait to animals. What I might do to the one who sought to turn the final page of my life. But first I must solve a dilemma to kiss or to kill, to hurt or to torture, to flay or to whip, to tear, to tear or to rip. Decide, darling, or I might just take option five, all of the above, for come, for come hell or water, you are not leaving here in one piece, my love. I do think you should know that when you throw a wolf to other wolves, it comes back with a pack, and I, I was born of the ice and snow with the winter wolves. In the dark alone and wolves have claws and fangs and a pack and we will rip you limb from limb my love and you will become one of the lost the broken the penniless you will become nothing just like how you saw me to be you are no one now I look I took your will like stealing candy from a child I plucked your confidence like petals on a flower I melted your courage like ice in the heat. I broke you like a child breaks toys. And I did it all with hands covered in your blood. Blood as black as your filthy soul. Dang. Dang. That was dope. <clears throat> good job. Good job. <laughs> That, that was, that was, that was badass. That was badass. I can't have to admit that shit, dude. Okay, poison, underscore, quill, underscore, writing. Oh, in the caption it says, yesterday I held it together. I didn't cry. I came close, but I didn't. I tried to have an okay today. I got through it, and it was fucking hard. Every second, I was actually aware that people were missing. That something wasn't right. That I don't think I will ever feel like Christmas again. Today I am a mess. My heart feels like it's ripping from my chest. My head feels like it's going to split. And my eyes are bloodshot. So no, no, I'm not okay. 
I didn't have a particular, particularly good Christmas. Particularly good Christmas. Today is worse than yesterday. And I'm not going to pretend otherwise because grief fucking sucks. Now, is this part of clouds? I don't know because I had it right here. So I'm just going to read it because I started reading it. <laughs> All right. Don't judge me. Just kidding. <laughs> As 2020 ends, my hope for 2021 is this, that my heart mends, that I can crawl my way out of the abyss, that I'll have more time with friends, that it won't hurt to reminisce, my tears will dry, each day won't be, bring fear, that someone else die, will die, that I'll find moments of cheer, I'll maybe even find the right guy, progress in my career, that each and every day, I'll make us proud. I know the right words to say. I'll be able to laugh out loud. And even though the skies may be gray, I'll work my way through the storm cloud. That's right, girl. Damn Skippy. Damn freaking Skippy. Oh, it does say clouds. How stupid. The cover says storm clouds. And I didn't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm special. Leave me alone, guys. Leave me alone. Don't call me. Don't judge me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, I do have it right here. Okay, B H. We got you. And in the caption, okay, it says right here too. Okay, good, good, good. A valley full of black roses and a red one bloomed. Fact, factly, they were all blind, so no one actually knew godly intervention or devil's footprints an, abs an absence of comfort an absence of conformity or impurity sneaking through hard to decipher the incidents for truth's sake you must construe a cloudy night arrived camouflaged Asians in plain view only to see the red one smothered scattered petals neck askewed askewed the guilty were caught and punished. Suspense was who told them to. Every time you do a prompt, you just come with the creativeness, you know? You know, thank you, BH, because it's always like, you, you, this is what I like. You guys all do, you guys take it to so many different levels, so many different areas, and it's just so awesome to read you guys. Like, you are so creative, B.H. Uh, what is it? I don't know how to say it. Agareth? B.H. Agareth. Agarthy. No, Agareth. I'm going to say that. Hi, Angela. Hi, Brad. Hi, Crystal. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, you, always, you just always take it to the next level, dude. So thank you. You know? Like, it's, it's really great. Um, okay. Let's see. Who's right here next? I'm just going down the line, guys. Sarah? Let me make sure this isn't the next one. Okay, it's clouds. <laughs> Storm clouds roll in upon a vast field as ash falls from the blackened sky. All the I feel all wait, all the I feel I think it's supposed to say all that. So let me start that again. Storm clouds roll in upon a vast field as ash falls from the blackened sky. All that I feel will no longer be concealed. This will be liberating and this will be my liberating outcry as my blood no longer congeals. I have become the samurai. You will feel the blade of my carbon steel. What you thought you could scrape by I will make you fall to the ground and kneel. Your flesh will fly as I turn you into the bone meal. As I turn you into bone meal. Let me read that again. Storm clouds roll in upon a vast field as ash falls from the blackened sky. All that I feel will no longer be concealed. This will be my liberating outcry as my blood no longer con congeals. 
I have become the samurai. You will feel the blade of my carbon steel. What you thought you could scrape by, I will make you fall to the ground and kneel. Your flesh will fly as I turn you into bone meal. Another one. Like, what? <laughs> That's dope, Sarah. I really like that. Like, dang, y'all coming out with the samurai. So it's just like, wow, wow. Yeah. My favorite thing is to collect knives. I love knives. And I love samurai swords. And I love just, and I love the little rings that come, you go, pink, and it pulls out a little, you know, it's so dope. Just go, jab, 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 jab. <laughs> you know, I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> I love that, Sarah. I always love it. Thank you so much. Let's see. Is this part of? Let's see. Ow, my fingers are starting to hurt. I hate this thing. You see what I'm holding? This thing. This like. Can you imagine somebody has a phone like this? Hello? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, wait. Hold on. I can't hear you. Wait. Hold on. Can you hear me now? No. What? Can you hear me now? <laughs> I mean, really, phones are like that. It's like. Let me put my phone away. <laughs> Does it fit in my pocket? <laughs> uh, okay, this is clouds. Okay, cool. Um, Dash. Dash Hagen, 1963. Yes, I'm playing that song in my head. Do, 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 do. Again. Okay. In the aftermath of each and every good time, when my hope discovers a new, del delicent way to reach another goal... Delight scent, delight scent way, a new delight scent way to reach another goal. Like each of the pieces of the octopus clouds that comes floating and continuously enshrouds the eye of the earth, that we may see nothing but dense, deep, dark all around, appears before my being an unfamiliar, unfaltering hindrance to stop my adventurous flow of life. Likewise, after a terrible tempest, when I find a rainbow on my palette and I become enthusiastic for painting my future with a new color out of it, like a sudden delu deluge, storms in a misfortune and inundates, inundates all my dreams. Now, now standing with second to none, with a vacant mood on the snowy winter evening, when I try to muse, what I've already achieved, what remains unmet, on the stretch, on the stretch of the vast pass, like pebbles lying strew, on the leveled spent deposits of my life, twinkling memories, some of which through, draw a big smile on my face, on directs. One directs my eyes towards that rose that beams where the half of my heart rests in peace. Aw. That's sad. And just, it, just like, you always bring it, Dash. Like, um, you, you always leave me like, what? Why y'all do that to me? Not cool, man. You know, like, I'm like, what? You know, you guys are not basic. I could tell you that. None of you guys are basic at all. I'm basic. I'm just not a basic bitch, but I might be a basic poet. <laughs> I don't know. Don't judge me. <laughs> but y'all bring it. Thank you guys. You guys, you know, for reals. Um, well, let's see. Let's, let's, uh, I, I don't want to mess anything up. Crystal? You're next. <laughs> It happened that night. The clouds captured my conscience. All right. Word to your mama. Okay. It happened that night. Oh, Crystal. Oh, Crystal. I forgot we're reading Crystal. Dude. I'm going to tell you when we got to that punchline. That end. Like, it was like, down. That's right. You know what? You got the fire. You got that. Poetic, um, poetic muses. I read you first. You were the first one, babe. First one, and it was dope. That was so fire. You know, that was, I, man, I bring the darkness, bring the pain. <laughs> it was so good. It was, oh, man. 
Should we read it again? <laughs> but let's read crystals first because she brought it. She brought it. Okay. It happened that night. I was walking alone and inky black clouds covered silver moon and clear sky diminished all my visibility. The dreary, slithering clouds enveloped me from all around. Multiple faces appeared in front. Some were known and some unknown. They grew and shimmering in a jade, whispering in a husky voice with high intensity slowly fade. My legs started shivering. Hands became numb. Heart started pounding like a drum. Base of breath was at its maximum. Mind filled with the fear of death. They had come to take me up. They conspired me to walk along with them on the staircase of crimson carpet that they laid for me a stride away. Suddenly, a sharp screeching sound came from behind. A bright flash. Whoops. A bright flash. I can't see the bottom. Come on. God. Come on, you stupid tablet. Oh, I hate this thing. Uh, where was I at? Okay, a bright flash of light astonished my eyes. The light scared the vindictive clouds. They dispersed as if they were never there. That glow lit my urge to express and cry. Vindictive clouds vanished. Silver moon was now along. Sheer silence prevailed all around until the driver started shouting, asked me if I wanted a lift to my home, home where my family lives, depended on me and after my death. On one else, no one else to feed my family, dependent on me and after my death, no one else to feed my family. Those clouds were my clutter and cluster of negative thoughts take shapes and sizes from the library of memories. They find me alone in the dark. They entice me. They attack me. They try to overpower me and extinguish my core fire, try to make me end my life. My conscience control my fall. And every single time I confront them, I survive only because I dare to face them. And I dare to fight. That was, that was damn good, Crystal. That was like, when I, when I first read that, I was like, dang, incredible. It really was, Crystal. You did such a great job. So thank you so much for writing. You, you know, you, you write every single time and it's, it's good. It's always so good. And I mean, all of you guys, just you guys, I always love a good ending. I always love a punchline at the end, you know, and that's what I try and do with my poetry. I'll be yada, yada, and then boom, at the end, it's always a punchline, you know. I'm glad people notice that, too, because I, I, my ending's always got to be that punchline, you know what I'm saying? So, thank you, Crystal. That was bomb. That was bomb. Um, okay, we got... Dreams underscore empower underscore poetry. Whoa, bro. Uh, uh, where's my water? <laughs> me, 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 me. Okay. Speckled in a youthful beige, somewhat squandering childishly. I wonder if you dispat the quilts of me melancholy that sail recklessly upon my eastern nails. Mother says you are a liar. Who harbors the unfathomable, unfathomable, unfathomable. I know what the word is. Why can't I read it? Why can't I say it? This lips don't want to compromise or no, not compromise. Comprehend? No. I forgot. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, unfathomable, fathomable. See, it's like the Spanish words that you can't say. I can't roll my R's for Jack. You commote me, you commote to my sullen face of yesterday night, and if permissible, your manner concarcerates the lonesome staircase of the dwelling. For ages, you have anoint secular love stories to my half-tainted backpack, at, and at times, 
drizzled in high-pitched wailings. Some evenings you have served as only my syndicate quailing, my Angus, and on some, my kinship of Anomaly. On desperate days of domestic diets, you have veneered the dazzling drops of murmurant and allowed scoldings from my mother, for I never stood a good savior of her. This must be another language, but it looks like it says Ben Sar Ben Sarsi Sares. It's got to be a different language. Of course, it is a different language, but I don't know what it says. You have showered good will after ceremonial rites and deliberately raised the bottom temperature, the body temperature of my father after he was draped by your Rhine well while. By your Rhine while on his way back from the general store. On the days your clad looked for formidable, I even bowed before Lord Shiva. Knowing he resides athwart uh, your hunt. I have no idea what that means. You have, infam you have infamously declared polkas. Polkadas? Polkadas? It's a, that's another language. The choice of snack for my palates. You have harked to my unexplored self and implored sanity on forlorn occasions. Through woods and fire, blood and air, you have always sheltered me under your canopy. Tasperi, tapestry held me by your circus, surus, your, nim, your nimus leaf bud. Now, I jacked that all up, <laughs> and I am sorry about that. And, and uh, what language was that? When you see this video, do tell me, what language was that? You know, and that was very, that was very, that was like another, a whole, see what I mean? You guys just go shh, like this is the clouds. You guys took me to the clouds, yo, like, like what? That was really just. I love where you guys go with this stuff, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, it's just not basic, you know, it's, it's cool. And then we got a little quote from uh, Politically Poison, and it's cool. It's, I guess this must have been older because it was posted 27 years ago, but she tagged it, so. And it's got a, a cool ass, her little smoke thing, smoky smoke uh, picture, and it says, what if clouds are angels having a smoke? in heaven mm. what if what if God was one of us just a stranger on the bus okay sorry <laughs> trying to find his way home I love that song <laughs> Nobody calling on the phone except for the Pope baby in Rome. Anyways, um, okay, is this for clouds? Yes, it is. Ruined underscore queen poet. Oh, wait, queen underscore poet. I don't know if this fills the criteria for the prompt, but if it does have the word cloud, but it does have the word cloud, okay. It has been modified to cloudy and really has nothing to do with clouds. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> oh my no 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 you did not <laughs> thank you yes yes and you know what that was the thing too you know what if God was one of us I believe God is in all of us but that's my thoughts but before that's why I don't say no to people who ask me for things in the street if they need money, food, whatever, I give. Because what if that was God there asking me for something? And I said, no. That's not cool. Because I would never deny a human or my God nothing. If I have it, I give it. And that's why I have good karma. Okay. All members of the human race instill their cloudy essence into devices, intimate connections, and depressants. If George, 
Wait, yeah, it does. If George is on their fimble minds, heads draining, a tropid potential better than good sex, unvoiced catastrophes, catastrophe, catastrophes, <sighs> unvoiced catastrophes. Its batteries charged to the max, a parasitic bond, extends existence empty, wasted life, dead vessels, human human facets, faucets, facets, you know, really tired of these lips, <laughs> dead vessels and human faucets, the, <laughs> the ever sense of life, an infestation, decaying minds and rotting souls, life lived in grave vibrations. Thank you, queen. Thank you, queen. Thank you for giving me a tongue twister. <laughs> Dirty clouds, Tammy. We got dirty clouds. Do you like your clouds clean or you like them dirty? Womp, chicka, womp, womp, waka, waka, waka. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why do we always get dirty up in here? Okay. Let's see. Oh. Check page for more information. Tag us your poem hashtag. Okay, thanks for the shout out. Oh, no, wait, that's actually from Paradise Poets. You see things differently when you're looking through broken dreams. You feel things differently when you have to feel through frayed seams. You hear things differently when the noises settle down. You are forever a different person when you're left behind in dirty clouds. That's dope, Tammy. That's dope. I like that. It's true. Your head thinks differently when it's silent. I don't like silence sometimes. Sometimes my thoughts are like, will you shut the hell up, Marcy? Stop saying that to yourself. It's like, I'm, I, I hate, I don't like noise. I, I, I don't, like, it's tough because, like, if people are gone and, uh, and I'm sitting in the little room, uh, I mean, living room a little too long, by myself because I used to lock myself inside the room for days, hours, whatever, like, Ugh, get away from me because <laughs> I had social anxiety. But afterwards, then I just don't want to be alone too long. You know, oh, you just sit in the damn room with me, but be quiet. That's the perfect place for me. Okay. The dark side of the phoenix. I don't know. I think they came in, but I'm not sure. I see dark clouds upon the horizon. I know they are not far away. They've been hovering for a while now. Perhaps today will be the day that they start to creep in closer, then start to gather speed. These clouds aren't like the others. They come after me to feed. No matter how much I fight it, the relentless gray fog starts to descend. Heavy clouds wrap themselves around me, pulling me into the darkness once again. These storm clouds invade my mind, scattering my thoughts and motivation. I'm sinking deeper, spiraling downwards into it into a pit of my own creation i must not fall into their trap a prison and i know well these clouds seep deep into my bones and drag me down to hell and you see the font that's what made it easier <laughs> and hit guys no i'm just kidding just joking you guys keep it the way it is of course you are <laughs> Because it makes your post beautiful. Brad, are you still here, my brother? Brad Hall. He's one of our brothers. Okay. Thank you, Brad, for doing the prompt. Because we had talked about uh, what the lights in the sky. That was very interesting to learn what you did say about the lights in the sky. You know, that your family was a part of that. Woo, that was that was that was real shit, you know what I mean? Like, damn. You know, we could get on here together and talk about conspiracy shit anytime, you know? <laughs> I know I'm stuck with your font. That's why I said, that's why I said, y'all are not going to change it. But, it, you know, it's Sarah, that's why, because your, your font is makes your page beautiful. And you must tell me, where do you get that font? Because I do not have that font. Oh my thing. All right. All right, Brad. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Um, 
we'll talk about what your most interest, wh which conspiracy theory you're most interested in. Because I got to make new prompts for January. And I haven't picked them out yet, but I'm going to pick them out. And we're going to choose which one together that you're going to come on the odd topic with. And we're going to talk about the conspiracy theory about it. That'd be so dope. Okay. I used to, wait, wait, wait. Is it all right here or is it, oh, okay, it's all right here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I used to dream when I was young. I would sit and wonder just for fun. I thought the clouds that passed by me one by one were all completely unaware of the sins I had done. I dreamt that angels would try with all their might to fly so way up high through those clouds way up in the sky. Then there were times I just sat and I wondered that maybe it was monsters that created that the thunder or watch or what patch of earth would I be buried under? Ooh, damn. Now days in all grown nowadays in I don't think you're supposed to say that, but nowadays all grown and I'm all alone. Would anyone mourn me? Or will the devil come to collect me? Would anybody cry for this plain ordinary guy who once dreamed of clouds where his angels did fly? Damn. Damn, yeah. I remember reading this and I was like, damn. Now, just like, would anyone mourn me? Or will the devil come to collect me? Like... I don't know about you guys. I, 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 I mean, sure, some of us worry. Some of us don't. A lot of us do. And a lot of us don't. You know, some believe, some don't. But I honestly believe. And I used to think, yeah, yeah, well, the devil's coming for me. You know, you're welcome, Brad. Thank you for writing. That was awesome. Because, like, phew. but I believe that when we die, we create. I have my own personal heaven and hell already created in my subconscious. So I believe when I die, that's where I'm going to go. That's where my brain is going to let me go. And that's where our souls will be. The, where, the, the world that we create in our heads. I am never going to believe I'm going to hell. I, am not, I choose not to believe that. Because he has fought for me. The devil has fought for me, and he loses every time. That's for damn sure. Okay. Thanks, Brad, because we got, got, got the noggin thinking. <laughs> that was so dope. For sure. We're going to talk about that soon. Thank you. Um, okay. Whatever. No. What vast thinks? Oh, I thought it said whatever thinks. It says what vast thinks. It says what vast thinks. That's the name of the person. Sometimes you just want to run away, drop a, <laughs> drop a heart and tell me in the comments how you like my post. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm going to tell you, girl, that I love the, the picture, the cloud, the cloud up all up in the face. My religion doesn't believe in hell. Exactly. And whatever religion that is, mm, take that. Because that's another conspiracy talk, woman. Don't. Because another conspiracy is, whoa, bro. Wait a minute, Brad. <laughs> you can't say he loses. He always wins. Yeah, he wins a whole lot of shit. You know, my mom told me that. I'm not going to tell you guys. Are you guys going to think I'm crazy? Well, okay, I'm just going to tell you anyways. This is the odd topic. That's what we're here to talk about, the odd shit. So anyways, my mom, <laughs> my mom said when I was a teenager and I had played with the Ouija board and a lot of bad shit started happening and stuff, my mom said, are you, what are you playing with, Marcy? I said, why? She goes, the devil licked my face last night and said, I have your daughter. I said, damn. Well, tell that motherfucker to go home. Let me go. <laughs> no, i <just> <laughs> Yeah, that, that, yeah, the Ouija board is something else. Mm? Never played with it again after that. Said, fuck that. But, and I don't know, I'm, you know, uh, 
I belong to the religion of lifeless. <laughs> I am my own religion. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there's a lot of things. That's another whole other conspiracy theory. There's a lot of things I believe and there's a lot of things I don't believe. And just like you said, Brad, that man changed the words of the Bible that we all know. You know what I mean? And yeah, it, the Ouija board is fucking scary. You know, and I believe man changed a lot of shit and left out a lot of shit in the Bible and things that we should know and we shouldn't know. And I do, I just believe in a whole other things. And I, I don't, uh, <laughs> we could talk about the Anunnaki. We could talk about the Nephilims. We could talk about a whole lot of shit. You know what I mean? And it, it kind of all just blurs together. Oh, well, that's what we're going to get into about the chemtrails today. So part of that is a little bit of that. Okay, anyways, let's get together so we can get talking about that, okay? Wish I could fly on those clouds that fly with the, with the air to the place unknown and stay forever in the oblivion. For this world is worthy no one, no more, or maybe I don't benefit in here anymore. What vast thinks. Love that. That picture was perfect. Okay, I, she tagged a couple pieces, but that one was clouds. Uh, a predator with a quill. And I, this was an old one, I believe. Let's see. You can't fool me, girl. That was five weeks ago, but it does have clouds in it. There was an eerie calmness in the air. I could hear the birds singing, but something was about to erupt. I could just feel it. The clouds started dancing, and I knew something was wrong. The atmosphere turned, and so I bid the calm a farewell. Thank you, Queely Quill. What? Well, um, I know I didn't skip anybody. Hold on. Oh. That's what I need to check, uh, check, check. What's wrong with the check, 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 one, two, check, check, one, two, rustic queen. Are, are you, no, that's not the other one. Okay, never mind. Let's see. Um, oh, there it is. Hashtag paradise uh, topic. Uh, 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 let's see. Oh, uh, bum, 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 bum. What the? I do not like this tablet. I do not like this tablet. I do not like this tablet. Who is this by? Okay, uh, Janeth Elizabeth Poetry. Oh, you, okay, good. The poem's down here. Smiling sun, filling my hair. The light turns into sugar. Sunset changes colors. Every second, clouds swirling through my eyes. Silent soul, comfortable warm wind, flowing the current of life, slowing down, breathing deeply, looking at, learning from nature. Nature, art, poetry surrounds m brushing the dust from my soul transcending transcending thoughts oh hope and peace janet elizabeth thank you janet elizabeth she is uh new to joining us with the the prompts and uh, poet muses what is this one for Ah, for next week. Entity Cursed. Okay, I'm going to save that one for next week, girly. Um, let's see if this one is a cloud one. Nope. Um, let's see. I don't see any more cloud ones, I guess. Oh. Well, I guess um, maybe I should read mine. Oh, there you go. Ruin underscore queen underscore po poet. I read yours. I, I actually, I just read it a few poems ago. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for uh, tagging that piece and writing. Uh, I lost it because <laughs> I'm in the hashtag. And I'm going to ask you guys again, please... Use the, the hashtags because um, it just makes it easier for me to find everybody's pieces in one place. Because I got to hunt everywhere for uh, everybody's pieces. Um, what is this? Is this somebody? No. Okay. This is not clouds. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and I guess we're done reading everybody's pieces then because that's all I can find on my page and also in the hashtag. Now, if anybody just tagged to Paradise Poets, that means I have to read through all of it, which makes it harder for me, guys. <laughs> so after, anybody watching the replay, um, if you just put in Paradise Poets, you're making it hard for me because there's a lot of people who tag to Paradise Poets. Or Poe, your job is when you see a par when you see on Paradise Poets a cloud stream, you got to, you got to DM me it or tag it to my page or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you are doing it. Scratch what I said. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Uh, okay, well, I actually posted my piece today. Um, it was called uh, "Watching Clouds." How cheap? How cheap is this fucking uh, <sighs> this fucking tablet? You know how you have you press the thing so you could hear the the voice? Well, it doesn't let me do it. I mean the sound. You know what I mean? Sucks ass. Whatever. Anyways, my piece. Hey, Cindy, what's up, loca? <laughs> My piece today was Watching Clouds, and it was dedicated to one of my best friends who I lost 10 years ago. So, and this, is, this was inspired by the live we did yesterday. And by the way, if y'all ain't seen that live that we did yesterday, damn, we talked about mental health and all kinds of shit in there. And in the end, uh, the last one was Carson, and we talked about friends and when you lose them, how you feel empty and stuff you, you keep trying to search for somebody to replace them but I the thing is is that you can't replace somebody you had that special bond with you're never going to find somebody who gives you the same thing that somebody else can give you you know you have to let them go you know and cherish the friends that you do have what they are giving to you now you know and when she mentioned that and I helped her with that, you know, it reminded me of this best friend who died. He was only 32 and he died of a heart attack. And I was like, damn, you know, I remember feeling all that pain because I was trying to replace him and I felt alone because I was like, nobody's ever going to, nobody can replace him. But see, the thing is, is that nobody should and nobody will. And I cherish the bonds I do have with the people that I do know because they all give me something different, you know? So when you lose someone, you can never replace them. It's impossible. So this is dedicated to my best friend. Watching clouds. I have laid there many times by your side staring up at the bright blue sky, watching the clouds float on by, projecting our past like a movie on a screen, watching how we were close and all you taught me. All those, li all those times we laughed at our own personal jokes, all the times we rode on them spokes, bumping through the hood, yeah, you know it, up to no good. We lived without a care, you were always there, that I can never deny. Until the day I said goodbye, now I'm here with you again. Only, it's next to your gravestone where I lie. <sighs> yeah. Many a times I've gone to the, to the graveyard and just... Laid by his stone, looking up at the sky, staring at the clouds. And sometimes the clouds just seem to go faster and faster. And time just is like, like a clock, just going by, by, by. And staring up at the clouds, replaying our journey, our adventure, what we had together. And I'd have music to listen to our songs that we used to, you know, 
scroll through in the hood, you know. <laughs> you know, he had his low rider and we'd be in there. We were all about Pac. It was all about the West Side. It was all about, did you hear a Pac drop today? Oh, did you hear that song? We hit him up. You know what I mean? Like, oh, man. <laughs> we just, just, and it'd always be me and him. We were always, you know, just, pfft. so, yeah, a lot of times I just stare at the clouds and that's what I do. Just, and sit there and talk with him, you know. I haven't done that in a while, and I feel like I need to. Yeah, today kind of all hit me today that, you know, him, my favorite cousin, my nephew's birthday who got murdered four years ago, uh, his birthday is on January 5th. My daughter's birthday is on January 26th, <laughs> and she's not talking to me. And my son's birthday is on January 29th, the one I haven't seen in 14 years. So, yeah, kind of all hit me today. And I don't know what advice to give myself. <laughs> but it sucks, so... I like doing the lives because you guys really cheer me up. <laughs> so anyways, let's get into the odd topic. <laughs> now, I keep telling you guys I, I have these videos and stuff and I keep not posting them because of the stupid theme on my page. <laughs> you know, I have that damn... That damn, uh, from the last two prompts, I have the picture of the sun with the black dot on it. I have the lights in the sky video of the, the damn, uh, the Pentagon releasing the video of them saying that, yes, this is a UFO. I have that video. I need to post that too. And then I also have, uh, okay, I, I have the video for this one coming to, to put it together. To show you guys what I'm talking about, okay? The prince talking about that got me into the chemtrails. Now, like I said, did anybody ever look up to the sky and see the chemtrails in the sky? A lot of people don't even bother to look up at the sky and realize what's going on around us. There are so many chemical agents inside of the chemtrails in the sky. Now, if they don't evaporate, those are not contrails, okay? Contrails, that's what the word, contrails, they disappear, okay? They evaporate in the sky. But uh, the chemtrails. Now, when I first started doing this, Kim, when I first started doing this conspiracy searching and all that shit. Now, the chemtrails, okay, that shit scared the crap out of me. Oh, my God. The things they were saying that what, what was chemtrails, okay. I'm going to tell you first what at first I learned about chemtrails. Oh, my God. Talk about wanting to just die. When I first started learning about that stuff, there was all kinds of theories out there that they were spraying stuff to evolve the human race that there is stuff there people were coming out with little hairs on them all kinds of different um, diseases were going on that it was population control that it was all of that stuff and and I was like damn okay we already know about population control we already know about the new world order we already know about all that shit okay so so the chemtrail scared the hell out of me. And then when I was driving and I saw everything was brown, I was like, damn, the whole world is just dying now. Like, when are we going to die? You know, is there, is there that question again? Okay, so the chemtrails, okay, when they spray, okay, and the clouds, okay, see, it, 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 another conspiracy theory. It comes to with weather control. Y'all know about HARP. That's another conspiracy that we need to talk about. HARP, weather control. Now, you do know that, and this is fact. In 1934, there was a man in California here. There was such a there was a huge drought that he invented uh, something to he, he took the plane. OK, when, you know, they went up into the sky and they seeded the sky. OK, uh, I don't know what it was, but anyways, it created they had to find one little cloud. OK, one little cloud and they planted whatever they had into that cloud. And the cloud expanded and the cloud made it rain over their crops because the crops were dying here in California. And this is real. This is facts. This came out in the news. It, there's an article and everything about it. So if they tell you that there is no weather manipulation, that's bullshit. There is weather manipulation. That's one way to manipulate. Okay, they can make it rain. 
make it rain, make it, I can make it rain all day, baby. No, anyways, no, they can make it rain. Okay, that's one thing. Okay, now, number two. Okay, now, harp. Yes, yes, fly in patterns for sky resorts and rain. So, okay, so those patterns up in the sky and shit, you know, I mean, they don't evaporate. They expand. They expand. Okay, but what is it if it's not making it rain? Okay, that's where, like, what the fuck? Okay, well, what is that? Okay, there's so many different metals inside of it. There's copper, lithium, there's um, uh, titanium, there's aluminum, there's zinc, there's things I can't even pronounce. <laughs> there's more than 23 metals in it. That's what I do know. Because every time I look, they, they, they always say a different number. But there's tons of it, okay? And they, they even found human skin or blood cells in it, okay? And it was like, why? Why that? Why would you spray that? Now, they're spraying that all over the place, okay? Now, you can't say Kim Trails is not real because Trump, last year or the year before, came on the news and said he was ending Kim Trails. Now... At that point, that's when I found out what supposedly chemtrails really were. But before that, holy crap, scared the bejesus out of me. Before that, it was all about mutating and involving that, uh, that we are going to the next step. Humans were going to evolve, that they're going to become immortal and <laughs> just all kinds of crazy shit. <clears throat> and then it's in our water. It's in our plants, of course. And, and just on us, and that's why they give us cancer and population control and all that crap. And I was like, damn, it sure did scare the bejesus out of me. Because I was like, is this shit true? Because they had scientists talking about the human race mutating and all this crap, right? Okay, so that's what I thought chemtrails was all about. I was like, okay, there's got to be more than that. So then Trump comes on, and he says that he's stopping Kim trails and he went to go visit the planes and supposedly that wasn't the correct plane or whatever so he signs off and he says no more spraying Kim trails in America well holy shit so here's what the next information is about Kim trails so now I'm like can you bring back the Kim trails <laughs> yeah sure they've been spraying this thing since like the 70s and nobody has ever said anything or really noticed about it. You know what I mean? It's been around for so long, but who really pays attention to this guy? Well, we should. I haven't seen Kim Trails in a while, but then again, I stopped paying attention to it because my mind was just pff, fucked up about it. But when Trump did that, I have seen a lot less. I'm not saying that they're completely gone, but I have seen a lot less of the stripes in the sky. Well supposedly what they were spraying in the sky all this time which is sprayed not just in america but all of the countries in the planet on the world in on the, on the planet in the world <laughs> all the countries have kim trails and here i you know honestly i really just thought it was here in america but come to find out it's the whole world and the reason for it is to cover the ozone layer that we fucking put a hole in that's supposedly what it is. And to contain our weather. Now, they're going to try and say they don't have weather control. there. That's a crock of shit because I believe that we have that shit weaponized. I mean, if you look on Google, of course, HARP is there. We all know HARP, you know. But, yeah, I do believe they send out signals. I believe that we caused that fucking tsunami and hurricane. I think we, cur we caused Hurricane Katrina and fucking the tsunami uh, in Japan, and I mean, besides, I mean, well, the, the tsunami in 2011, okay, that covered, that just, oh, man, I've watched that, that, those YouTube videos of that tsunami, it was awful, but, and then Fukushima going down, whoo, that's a whole other, stream. and it's still leaking to this day into the ocean, like, when they get, a hundred years for that to even be clean, are you kidding me? Nuclear shit. Why does it even exist? Okay. So, 
supposedly those chemtrails are to cover the ozone layer. Now, check this out. When Trump did sign that off to stop, did you notice that the weather's been kind of really crazy lately? Did you notice that we had hurricanes and tornadoes all over the place? I did. And just crazy snow where snow shouldn't be. Uh, dried out where it shouldn't be. You know, like, you know, I, 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 it's like, whoa, it's like having a tornado right here in California. We don't have tornadoes, but there's been tornadoes. What about, you know, uh, I mean, crazy earthquakes all over the place, just different places. It's just messing. It's just messing with us, probably. Now, I did find out, too. This is another conspiracy theory. Maybe it's going a little too deep about the hole in the ozone layer that um, the Anunnaki and shit like that, okay, on their planet, that they had a hole in their ozone layer, right? And that they used to farm gold and they used to put it in the atmosphere to cover the hole in their ozone layer. And that supposedly they came here, they made us, that's another conspiracy, they made us, we're their slaves, and <laughs> they mined gold from Earth because they didn't have enough gold on their planet. Interesting, right? That's another talk. But we're doing the same thing. If that story exists with them, we're doing the same thing. We're taking metals and putting it into the ozone to cover up the hole. Where the hell did we learn that? And how the hell do we know that's even going to fucking work? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do we know? We don't know, you know? It's like, you know, I don't know. It's interesting, it's interesting to me to, to just know this stuff because I like to put it all together. And there's a movie on spiritual sinus, on science, on YouTube that puts all this shit together. It talks about the, the pyramids, about the pyramids on Mars and the other planets. It talks about how, uh, Jesus, the Anunnaki, the Nephiliums, who Jesus was, how he walked the earth. And what he was really here for, that humans changed uh, changed it in the Bible, that what he really did, he was here to enlighten, that it wasn't, uh, it, was, it was just something different. And they found Noah's, Noah's Ark, they found um, the place, what is it called, um, uh, Eve, Adam and Eve's garden, I forgot what it's called. Uh, they found that place where so-called exists right there, where they came from, right? I forgot what it's called. Damn it. Um, but they found all that, and they link it all together. And then the tablets from the pyramids, they put it all together, and it just, it just connects. It's such an interesting tour, and it goes real fast. It's an hour and 20 minutes long, but he's like, blah, 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 and it just goes so quick. But the whole thing makes sense, and it's so awesome because you just get a, lot, a whole bunch of information, you know? Eden, thank you. Eden, yes, Eden, the Garden of Eden. Okay, they found that they found that where they z exist. Okay, and then Noah's Ark, and they also found um, what was it? Oh, the city of Atlantis. It, it just connects everything. It's like, well, why, why wouldn't we find it? We have Google Maps. We have Google Earth. You know what I mean? Like, we find the weirdest shit on there. You know? Okay. You know, and, and then too, if you check it out, you check it out on Google. Um, well, okay, well, wait, 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 hold on. Back to Noah's Ark. What happened was, is where Noah's Ark was, is that it was in a place where it, the water could fill up and they thought the whole world flooded when the whole world didn't flood. Just that place did, but they, you know, they could only go so far way back in those days, duh. You know, and I've always thought that to myself. I was like, how do they know the whole world fled? They had no word. They, what, somebody from the other side of the world came and told them that the world was going to flood? I mean, that their world was flooding? No, they didn't know that. What? 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 Makes no sense to me. <laughs> but anyways. Okay. So that's the Kim Trail of clouds. Now, cloud clouds. Watch the clouds. A cloud should be white or gray and fluffy. That's what I think a cloud should be. Which comes into another conspiracy theory of flat clouds and they, how they say that the sky is a projection screen. I don't believe that. Or that we're under a dome, you know what I mean? And that the universe is water. And if we break the dome, we'll all die of drowning because the water will come in. 
that's another conspiracy theory. How interesting, though. Um, that, that, you know, UFOs are hiding in our clouds. That, I do believe. You've seen some crazy shit. Watch the clouds one day. If you ever see a white cloud and a dark cloud together, watch the formation of that shit. Make sure that shit is a cloud. Because sometimes something, some things peek out of there. You ever notice, have you ever seen a spear, a spear cloud? And it just looks too perfect and it's too round. What is that? What is that? You know what I mean? Or a cloud just cruising a little too swift. I do believe that those fools are here on this planet hiding. I do believe in aliens. I do believe they exist. I do. Straight up. We are not alone in this universe. And if you think we're alone in this universe, well, I... Why? I pity the fool. <laughs> we're not alone in this universe. No fucking way. I mean, and if we're the only intelligent life, well, we ain't that intelligent. Because if them motherfuckers up there flying and doing weird shapes and we can't do that, well, damn, they're more intelligent than us. And I do believe these people who have been abducted. So those, you have, those clouds that are up in the sky that are taking shapes, and there's videos, and I'm going to add that into my video too. About when they change shapes and shit like that. I caught, I caught, I'm always pulling out my camera. I caught the clouds doing some weird formations. And I do believe that those things hide in there. I've seen airplanes go by that one minute they're there and one minute they're not. It looks like they turn into a, like a, a shiny mirror and just disappear. That wasn't a fucking plane. Fuck that. That was not a whole fucking plane. You know? But... Watch out for the clouds. And if you guys who watch this, if you catch anything interesting in the sky, take a picture of it. Send it to me so that I could put it in my videos and I could post that shit. I want to see that shit. At night, take a picture of your sky if you see something funny. If you question it, if it's a star or not, take your video out. Change the color of your screen. Okay, there's um, there's the gray one, there's night vision, there's uh, the like the brownish one, black and white and the negative. I guarantee you each different filter on your camera will make you see something different in the sky. If you think that there's something up there, break out your camera and change the filter and look up and try and video record it or take a picture. Look, look at it through your camera because I want to see. How many out anybody out there that could see something do it? That's what I do if I question it, and that's how I got that video. And uh, anybody want to see that video? I have it. Uh, it says, uh, This is an odd situation, so I have it on my page. Of what I questioned was uh, a star in the sky, it was no star, that thing was round, and it's round in the video, so. Watch your clouds. Watch your sky. Kim trails are real, obviously, because Trump, 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 our Cheeto king, Cheeto president, uh, said he signed off not to have Kim trails anymore. But I'm kind of questioning. Maybe you should bring it back, bro. So I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight. Break out your cameras so that I can get pictures of anything interesting. If y'all find something fishy going on in your neighborhoods, bring it to the odd topic so that we can talk about the topic and share that shit. One day we're going to have an open mic where y'all can talk about the craziest stuff. The craziest stuff. If you've seen something, you got a story to tell, bring it to the odd topic. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me tonight. And don't forget, hashtag your stuff to Paradise Odd Topic. And please tag it to there. It makes it easier for me to find your guys' stuff. Okay. Thanks, guys, for joining me tonight. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.